every gardener has one pest that they are completely intolerant of. And you're probably thinking and you're going through your head, what are they, what is it, what is it? Come on, you know what it is. It's, it's a complete pest, it's actually a mollusk. Some of them eat each other. Ah, you've got it, snails! How on earth do we get rid of them? Most gardeners, and I include myself in this, are really looking for organic solutions. We don't feel comfortable with putting down a chemical, which is normally a bait, which our pets or our children could get hold of. Today I want to share with you my tips and tricks on how we can get rid of snails in a manner and a method that if something eats the snail after it has died, or we've chased it away, that it is going to have no effect on the dog, the cat, the child, and of course no effect on wildlife, small little guys, birds that we are wanting to entice and attract into our gardens. So some interesting facts about these critters. They only eat at night and we know this because we've had a little shower of rain and we walk out, there we see them all of a sudden, like where did you come from? And the reason why we don't see them during the day is because they really don't enjoy sunlight and that's why they hide under pots, they hide under the leaves, in the cracks and crevices of rocks, pots put upside down, that's where they're hiding. One snail in your garden can produce up to 430 babies. Oh, yes, 430 babies, they lay eggs, those eggs are placed in the soil, on the soil, and that is the hatchling, and that is why snail infestations can become so out of control so quickly. The other really interesting fact is that they have teeth, but they're not really teeth, but the teeth are found on their tongue and that's how they eat. And there are up to 14,000 of these teeth on their tongues, which is why they do dreadful damage. Right, what does snail damage look like? Guys, take a closer look at exhibit A. This is snail damage. So you can see that they've eaten around there. And very often I get questions. Tanya, something's eating my plants, but I can't see it. I've looked all over. There's no hojos there. And that's because it's happening at night. Okay, so one way, which is the first way of getting rid of snails, is to literally go out in the evenings, especially if there's been a little bit of rain, and you pick them off, physically remove them. Once they're dead, throw them onto your compost heap, because think about it. They have eaten all those plants of yours that you've been feeding religiously with beautiful plant food. So imagine all the nutrition in them. Plus in their shells, there's a great source of calcium, which is gonna get put back into our garden. The other thing is that snails are generally active during the summer months because they hibernate in winter, so they create a mucus layer in the opening of their shell and they sometimes bury themselves and that, that mucus layer helps to prevent dehydration and also to control the temperature. So in the winter months, we don't have snail infestations, but as soon as the summer temperatures start arriving and start getting warmer, that's when you find them. Number two, probably the best method and one of the easiest is, of course, beautiful eggshells. Now, the most important thing with the eggshells is that you crush them really fine. So don't take an eggshell like this and put it around your plants. Okay, that is not going to do the job. You've got to crush them and they've got to be very dry. So what I would recommend is you take your eggshells, pop them into a bowl and leave them out in the sun to really bake. Um, you want them to be incredibly dry because the drier they get, the sharper these edges are. And snails hate walking over the sharpness because it actually hurts the underbelly. So you take the eggshells and you place them around the plants, just a very thin layer, and what that does is it creates a little electric fence which then protects your plant because the snails can't climb over it. it the third method of getting rid of snails in a very eco-friendly way is using the eco snail and slug trap. Now guys, this is a perfect, perfect gadget. Um, what it does is you get two of them inside one of these containers. You can see there it is and it's got a little hood that goes on. Um, the additive in this is probably the, the, the best part about it is that you need to put beer in here. Yes, beer! You put the beer in here but first before you do that you bury this 
and when I want you to bury it right up to the soil level. You put these traps around plants where you know the snails are munching. So you bury it up to the soil level, pour in the beer, put the little hoodie on, and what that does is, number one, it stops the pets from drinking the beer. Um, number two, it also prevents other insects from getting trapped in there. What happens is the snails are attracted to the yeast. It's the smell of the yeast of the beer. And they climb in there, fall into the beautiful broth of beer, and they drown incredibly happy. Once a week, I recommend going in, checking your snail trap, removing it, the dead snails, you just throw it onto your compost heap, guys. Your fourth method of snail control is using BioGrow's Pheromol. Now, Pheromol is a natural snail and slug bait. The important part about this is that the Pheromol is a small granule, all right, which is the bait, but it has been impregnated with iron. Now, the snails are attracted to the bait because it is a form of food that they will enjoy. So it's sprinkled around the plants, in and around, even on top of the plants, where you know there's snail activity. The great part about BioGrow's Pheromol is that because it is iron, it simply kills the snails because of the overload of iron in the snail system. Most importantly, if another insect, a bird, a child, a dog, eats that dead snail, there is no secondary effects, which is really important for me. Your fifth method of snail control is really fun and I do this a lot with my succulents. I also do it in when I'm growing veggies in pots. Right, so this over here is called slug and snail barrier. Now guys, the most important part about this is that snails hate copper. All right, um, that is something that they, they deter, um, they won't cross a barrier line where there's any copper. Now, the snail tape um, comes in a roll, guys, and around pots, it works really nicely, almost like a bit of bling. So all you do is measure it out where you're gonna put it, cut it, and then you just take off the sticky end and you apply it to the pot. Snails sorted, guys. This is how we can control them in irresponsible, biological, simple tricks and hacks, which will really work for your garden and especially for your plants. Remember folks, everything I've used is available at your local builders, either in store or online. Use these tips and tricks to deter your snails and get rid of them in the right manner. Folks, also remember to visit the Builders blog and the YouTube channel where you can get loads of green inspiration to turn you into a green-fingered guru. Get to Builders and get it done.